when I first moved to London, when I was living in a house here in Camden, and I met my housemate at the time, Scottish man, I'm going to name him, name and shame, Mike Douglas, Michael uh, Douglas. Okay. But not the Michael not Douglas. Not Michael <laughs> Douglas. I think, the Scottish I think he was Michael named Douglas. before Michael Douglas became a thing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and I met him uh, like on Euston Road, kind of King's Crossway. Mm -hmm. For lunch, and then I said I was going to walk. I love walking. I said it's my favorite sport, walking. Mm. So I was walking down to Oxford Circus. So okay. we met, and then said goodbye to him. I was going to go down there, and it was when I was working for MTV. For literally all I wore was the same outfit, which was like this ripped little denim skirt that I got in Beyond Retro, mm -hmm. and and a band T-shirt. Literally, that's all I wore <laughs> for about three years. And then I got down to Oxford Circus. And it's quite busy, and this girl kind of heading into Soho. So it's quite a bit of a walk, like yeah, about ha yeah, like yeah. half an hour, forty minutes. Yeah. I got a little tap on my shoulder from a girl, and she's like, "Your skirt's cut." <gasps> I said, "What do you mean? Goes, Your skirt's cut." And okay, and I just turned around. And I had like a big bag, and I I'd kind of done this with my bag, and I'd lifted my skirt. Oh no! <laughs> so my skirt was right up my like pants are out. Oh no! <laughs> For the whole journey. For half an hour. Well, no, well I don't know because she just told me not to circus. So I was like, I've done, I've been walk walking, but like someone would tell you. Was more, and also I just started on telly, so I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of maybe the girl on MTV, or maybe I'm not. I don't know. But I've just walked through central London with like my bum on show. <laughs> I get home that night. And I'm telling Mike the story. And he went, oh, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I went to call you, but then you didn't hear me. So I just left you. Oh, Michael Douglas. And then I was like, but that was like King's Cross. Wow. No one stopped me and told me until I got to Oxford Circus. Fuckers. That's how no, long. Fuck, Michael Douglas. But also, my, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, called, oh, or called my phone. It yeah, wasn't the dark ages. There were phones then, there right? phones then 10 years ago. I, do you know, I kind of blocked that out. I don't think I've shared that. Oh, my God. And presumably that was the end of your friendship with Michael Douglas. I think we stayed in the house. He, he, was, he was a Scottish Douglas. man. He was like, a fr he was just, I, Scottish men, they talk their way around things. <laughs> uh, I also, but then also Michael Douglas, um, do you know, I'm naming his whole name now. I got many a call at three in the morning from people going, do you know where this man lives? He says that you're his housemate and then they have to send him home. So Michael Douglas, <laughs> he's he's a fun character. And you gave them the wrong address. I gave him the wrong address. Yeah. I said, sorry, payback. I don't know. I don't know I who don't Michael know. Douglas is. He didn't tell yeah. me my ass was <laughs> hanging out at King's Cross Station.